Hi guys. Now, good morning. Good morning again. I'm in I'm in uh breakfast pre-breakfast mode. So, right now I am getting ready to poach two eggs. Just two cuz that's all that is needed. I don't want my board messed up. So, I'm just going to be doing two cuz that's all it's all he needs is two. Lord have mercy. Now why did I do that? I'm telling y'all, this. Am I losing my mind or what? Housekeeping. And I'm break that yolk up. Now, when you're using an egg poacher, uh. I don't care if they do say non-stick, because this is non-stick, but I've never used it without putting a little bit of oil in my uh, thingy wingy. And I'm going to break, I do break that yolk. And it's not going to be really a poached egg. Because he's not going to eat that. He, he, We don't do raw eggs. It's not going to be like a fully poached egg like that. He just likes it with um, buttered, buttered toast. This honey butter toast that I make. He likes, likes it like that. And then I, you know, so. But he's not eating that this morning. I mean, he's not eating the... Well, I guess he have to eat honey butter toast, so that's what I'm making. But I made him already eat. This is, uh, he going to eat this. He can eat this or the other breakfast that I pre because he got grits. He's got grits and um, do the honey butter toast because I had to make her, her honey butter stuff for her pre-made sandwiches. So I'm going to go ahead and get these done and I'll be back. Okay, while we wait on these, I have six English muffins. Now, I do buy my English muffins in bulk at Sam's, and I individually wrap them. You see how still, how nice and soft they are? Because it's all about how you wrap these things. And so, I'm going to go ahead and just unwrap them all. I'm going to unwrap six, because I need six of them. And four of them will be buttered with just regular butter. And uh, two will be, I'll be using honey, honey butter. I'll be uh, buttering them with honey butter. And I'll show you um, how I'm going to do that. So I'm just getting those out the way first. A little housekeeping. Is, I'm just housekeeping away over here. I'm telling you, I got housekeeping mania. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Okay, so I have six. So I'm going to put these two because they're going to be honey butter. So I'm going to start on my um, regular ones. I need my bread knife. That's not bread. You know, there are different types of knives, nieces and nephews. This is what you call a bread knife, specifically for cutting bread. Okay, so these are somewhat pre-sliced, but you got to finish slicing them. And that's why you use a bread knife. You don't, don't use a regular knife. Use a bread knife. two and I don't always slice them before I freeze them you know why because it dries them out and you don't want dry you don't want your uh, English muffins dry now I don't do that when I bake uh, when I bake uh, bagels I only bake uh, three kinds of bagels um, Asiago blueberry and uh, Honey wheat. Those are only three bagels I bake. And I, I, I don't eat them anymore. Um, but she does. 
That's what we go over there. And I'm going to get this last one right here. Oh, the housekeeper. Okay, so I have my, get my pastry brush to butter. To, I'm going to go ahead. This is my melted butter. This is just regular melted butter. And what I do with, I do butter off, I butter the backs. I do butter the backs and I butter the inside. And I brush butter on the insides. So I do do that. Get some good butter on that. Like, you know, it makes it easier. You just line them up and just go ahead and keep moving. That way it's easier, much easier. This is in there for And these are going into that countertop oven. I'm not turning on my stove for that. No sabri bar. We're not doing that. It's also about saving time, money, energy. I'm not doing that. As you can probably see what I'm uh, what I'm over here doing. Turn that over. Get that good butter over there. And now uh, stir your butter, cause this is real butter. This that that country crop stuff. So you have to uh, stir your butter good. Go ahead and stir that butter up, cause you know it'll separate. And you're gonna have a little bit left. And what I do once they're toasted, I do butter them on the top again. To give them that mmm yum yum. And it's not a lot of butter as you may think it is. It's really not. And so now let's get to I'm gonna make let me check on my my poachies. They're not really poached, like I said. Hold on, I need a fork. Okay, let me show you. I've already had one burn accident today. Okay, you see this? This is what he he will not eat. Oh, there's no raw egg. So I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah, put this out the way. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I make my honey butter. Put that over there. What is my that's my butter? Mmm. What is my butter? You know what? I put my coffee in front of it. I'm drinking butterscotch coffee this morning. So I have, I have this is like a tablespoon because I don't need that much and it's softened. So I've just already been swirling, swirling, swirling. So I'm going to get a little bit of honey. I tell you the truth. Where is it? Here it is. Just a teeny weeny bit of honey. I love that little teddy bear bottle. And I just added a teaspoon of honey. And I'm going to mix this up. Now I'm going to melt this. This is... So these fingers are hurting because they got burnt grabbing a pan by me where I actually grabbed the bottom of the pan. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I wasn't thinking and 
you know, and sometimes that does happen with me. I may forget that the stove is on and I put my hand, I mean, that has, I've had several times I've burned myself. I don't think I do. A couple of days it doesn't look too well. I just send a picture of it to my doctor and she calls me in a cream after she fusses. Then she said, call your neurologist. I said, it's nothing going on like that. It just, uh, it's just, it's rumbles and stone. Rump, whatever I say. Hold on, family. So I'm going to take my little English muffin and spread some of this on here. I like, you know, I like to cover it all the way with this because she loves this stuff. Touch you. Some little honey butter. And I, I always make sure if you're doing what I'm doing and you're using two different butter, you're using a regular butter and then a honey butter, keep them separate so you'll know which is which because the honey butter biscuit, I mean the honey butter muff, English muffin is going to have, gonna have a, a different meat on it. Well, they are going to have a different meat on it. But this one will have a uh, chicken. We'll have fried chicken. Oven, uh, air fried chicken, rather. Pre-cooked air fried chicken. Let's keep it real. And I'm going to put these. Spread some honey butter on each one. Make sure I like to have it even cut, 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 cover. Is that the right one? Okay. I returned my um, toaster oven on. It's on toast. I'm telling you that is. It has its convection oven. How about that thing when thing first started coming out? You know it's still going strong. Which is great for mother. I just got a little bit and that'll be perfect because I only have two. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put these over here because I know these are honey butter. So I'm going to flip these over. And let them toast, not burnt toast. Unless you like burnt bread, you can do that. You know, that's up to you if you like burnt bread. Okay, I'm gonna put these on toast and then we're gonna get started with the rest of it, okay? Okay, in a, in a bowl, I have three eggs that I'm beating. I'm not adding any cream to them because that will make them soft. And I have a little bit of yeah, a uh, white onion, some little bit of red pepper, a little bit of green pepper. I had the other peppers colors, but I was not going to cut open a whole pepper just for this little bit. Okay. And what I've done, I do buy these and um, I divide them in twos. So she can grab these and throw them in the air fryer. That way she, she'll have a hash brown with each sandwich. And I have the Canadian bacon. Now, I um, I don't like to grill, put it on the stove. I put it put it in some water and heat it in the microwave because I think that when you do it that way, it doesn't dry out. So I'm going to get, get this started. And I have, I have the cheese. I need to get two more. Okay, I'm gonna egg down. Pull my onions and peppers. She likes seasoned salt on her eggs. But she's not getting that today. Get a Mediterranean, healthier. And and what you do, honey? All you gotta do is bring your egg in. 
just bring your egg in and let it to get it really good good and cooked just bring your egg in and let it flow up under the bottom see what i'm doing just bring your egg in and let it flow let it flow that's all you got to do you want that good omelet and then you can make a pocket make a slit in the middle a hole where that'll cook down see what i'm doing my little battery sign came up i hope it didn't block the view see what i'm doing that's all you got to do let me see i have this i'm going to run this a little bit up under here and i'm going to leave that right there while i plug my charging thing in hopefully We in business. Okay, so what I'm going to do. These fingers got me, y'all. <laughs> these fingers got me all messed up. And I'm going to flip this. I want to move it over here to the sink so I don't mess up my stove. Okay. I don't mess up my stove. Oh, let me go get my toaster thing. And all I did was fold it in half. I'm having some trouble. Trouble in paradise. And the only thing I'm going to do is split this down the middle. That's it. And I can just get a plate for this. I can just put this on my board. That's no big deal. And I'm going to spray a little bit of Pam on here just to brown these patties for her. All I'm doing is browning them. Yeah, I'm not gonna be gonna have some problems bending. Bending. So the only thing I need to do is brown these. But like I said, if they're not brown, they're not gonna eat them. Again, these are turkey sausage patties. You can get these at Walmart. And so what? I've been buying, they, well, they came out with the turkey a few years ago, but I started buying them like in 99 or something like that when my son, he'll be 36 next month, but he's like 12. I started when I discovered them at Walmart and I've been buying them ever since. So I'm going to put one on here and one on there, just brown this other one and I put it on my husband's plate. Keep it. Straighten it up. And I'm just waiting on those to toast. And I can build, start building. But I go ahead and put my cheese on. She swears she can tell the difference. This one is the American. She says she don't eat American cheese. I ain't got to worry about it. She don't watch my channel. And the other two is cheddar, and I ran out of cheddar. Those are the last two, but she swears she can tell the difference. No, she can't, because the only thing I do is get rid of the wrapper and put it in a um, storage bag. She can't tell the difference. She swears she can, but she can't. Like I said, she don't watch my channel. And she got a couple of her friends that do. But they're young. Hopefully, they're in class. This one on his plate. Be right back.
Okay, these four are my honey butters. So I told you I was putting chicken on those. So here's her the chicken tender and make sure I got the these are bottoms. Bottoms. Okay, these are chicken tenders. And so I will top them. These are bottoms. These are my bottoms. Okay. Bottom. Make it sure. Bottoms, bottoms. Let me see. That's butter. Okay. Bottom. Butter. Wrong one. These are my honey butters right here. Yep. I'm using chicken for these. That's a bottom. I'm getting confused. I'm, I have gotten confused. I got it now. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> That's a honey butter. I just need to find a bottle. I don't know how I got my stuff messed up. And I'm telling you all to do it. And I know they're at the end. Honey butter. Okay. Now we in business. Okay. <laughs> okay. In business now. Now we're gonna do our omelet, ham omelet. Um I know this is a probably a gym swim day, so that's why it's um, and I'll let her know it's got the egg and the three pieces of Canadian bacon and the cheese because she goes to the gym and swims. So that's that one. And then I wrap these and I label them. I just had to make sure I have bottoms. Just making sure I have bottoms. Here's her turkey sausage and cheese. She doesn't like egg on her sausage with cheese. She loves the water, guys. She absolutely loves the water. I mean, seriously loves the water. But she likes deep water. My kids were taught to swim when they were toddlers. They were taught to swim as toddlers, so she, they love the water. They absolutely, I want to make sure I have bottoms matching up. They absolutely love the water. Okay. 
Now, with these, remember I told you I had a little of that butter left. So I'm going to brush the top. Let's brush the top. They both are water. My son's likes to, like, what you call it? River, he likes river rafting, canoeing. Um, I, not sure about, no, his wife likes scuba diving. I don't know if he likes scuba diving. I know he had he goes scuba diving with her, but he must do like it. He goes. I don't like open. I don't. I'm not a water person, and I learned how to swim as an adult with my son. And the reason why I my I wanted my kids to learn how to swim as toddlers. Because I was always afraid of them being having a curious nat nature about water. Because being playing in the bathtub, they think they can swim when they can't. And they love water. And my daughter don't like swimming in nothing less than six feet of water. That's why she likes the pool at the Y because it goes to the 11th or the 12th feet. That's why she likes that pool. She don't like pools. She likes their gym. She don't like pools at like Planet Fitness because it only goes to five feet. That's not what she wants. <laughs> so we're going to wrap these. And and now I'll show you how I do it. Nieces and nephews, we're all done. Uh, their breakfast is ready for in the morning. I mean, for this morning. <laughs> Um, so, and her Pamper Princess breakfast sandwiches to go already. So, this is how I wrap them. And let me tell you, when I label things for them, I have to be very detailed. Okay? Especially for the hubby. Has to be detailed because if I am not detailed on that label, the hubby will come and ask me, what's in here? Now, he's not going to eat. Uh, he'll eat this, but he will not eat eat anything with cheese on it he won't eat that but if i am not detailed enough they will come ask but he definitely will ask what's in here or what's on this i had to be detailed with my labels and when i order my labels in bulk because you gotta know i i i i i i i i rumbles i okay i've forgotten what i was trying to say but moving on here are the eggs now like i said no runny eggs in here won't eat that no 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 so but here they are as you can see perfectly cooked be done with that so thank you guys for hanging out while i get these um all done all done now i'm going to have me a coke zero and a smile and ben watch me some um hulu amazon netflix and you know i have to you uh been watch certain things on um old youtube so i will talk to you guys later um i still have dinner to prepare it's going to be a quick meal because this is rest rest week for mother um so and it's definitely rest week right now because um I have messed up my freaking hand. Okay? So, love you guys. Hugs and kisses to each of you. To the next time, go be you. But be great being you. See you later. Bye.